Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the actors, not the actors, <laughs> the money cure. I've been doing so many podcasts that I get them all mixed up, but this is the money cure. If you'd like to listen to the actors area, it is available as well on all the major podcast outlets, Apple, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Podchaser, all these amazing outlets. Yeah, it's an amazing thing that you can um, find yourself now being able to put, I almost forgot Google too, um, being able to put your, your podcasts, your creative work on um, so many different outlets for people to just be open to receiving your information or your wisdom you know, from your creativity. And, and that's what I love about it. Cause now it's just like, I stream on one Avenue, which is Spreaker. And then it just carries over to all the other ones. And, and it's thrilling, man. It's exciting. So anyway, <laughs> welcome to the money cure. I'm your host, Reverend Sean Robert Grant. I'm happy to have you here with me. Good morning. Good evening. Good night, wherever you are, whether you listen to us present or listening to us on recording, we welcome you. Got a great episode for you today called Infinite Supply. You've always had it, I think, um, has always been within you, I think the, the title is. <laughs> Forgot there for a second, but it's all good. Um, first things first, few things business here, guys. If you have any questions, any feedback, any topics you may want me to expunge upon here on this podcast that's running for six years now, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about anything, I am an open book. I will get to it as soon as I can. Write to SeanG04 at gmail.com, S-H-A-U-N-G-04 at gmail.com. And I will get back to you as soon as I can with whatever way that I can help you um, in any regard, right? Um, what else? What else? What else? Guys, also, um, if you feel that this podcast has benefited you in the six years of its experience that we've had, please feel free to donate. You can donate at PayPal. It's is SeanG04 at gmail.com. Um, you can do Zelle, SeanG04 at gmail.com. Or you can do Venmo, Heart of Christ at, sorry, Venmo at Heart of Christ Ministry. <laughs> I got to get that, uh, get that right. So um, thank you in advance for that. And also, if you're listening to this podcast and you like what we are doing here, you're going to love uh, some of the resources that I have available for you. If you're looking for free res resources, um, medium.com slash Sean Grant. I got a lot, a lot of articles. I think 287 different articles. And there's probably hundreds of those that are on the concept of money, manifestation, wealth, abundance, prosperity, all that good stuff. So you can check out there once again, medium.com slash Sean Grant. And if you would like to purchase the Money Cure book, because we have published that, once again, <laughs> you are more than welcome to. It's available on Amazon and paperback and Amazon Kindle. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can actually get that book at zero charge with your Kindle membership. So whew, got that out the way. Now let's get into today's message. All right. So infinite supply, infinite supply. Now, one of the most um, common mistakes that all of us has made at some point in time, I think, is that we come to believe that money is our supply, okay? We come to believe that money is our supply, and the reality is money is not the supply. Houses is not the supply. Cars is not the supply, Right? Anything in the physical third dimensional reality is not the supply, but is a form of the supply. And today I'm going to show you why this is so important as it relates to money. OK, so. Let's start off with, let's say you're. You're in a space where you struggled a bit as it relates to your financial standing. You can't seem to figure out how to produce more money into your life. You know, it always seems like it's a struggle. It always seems like sometimes it'll show up often and then other times it'll just be 
retarded in its its um in its expression in your life or its manifestation and you're just trying you're just trying to figure it out you're just trying to make sense of it all okay i guarantee just from my my spiritual experience and and the ability to discern i guarantee that there is confusion on the side of money and what well, money being supply and money being the form of supply okay so but but let's get right into before we get into that let's get into what infinite supply is okay so i did a video i want to say last year maybe the beginning of this year i'm not really sure on my youtube channel you can check that out too as well if you want just sean grant and um just my headshot on the youtube uh, page you can check that out uh but i i, I wrote god within I'm not, sorry on this video i explained how god within is unlimited god without is limited right and what i meant was that the expressions of god which is God without, are limited because that's all there are. Their expressions, which eventually they're going to pass away, right? They're they're going to disintegrate. They're going to um, evolve in, back into formless substance energy, right? Um, and the reality is, is the moment we are attached to anything of a tangible nature, albeit money, things, cars, houses, uh, even people, right? Because everybody who's here is going to die someday and, and turn back into that spiritual substance energy of a soul that they are. When we get attached to these things, to these individuals, what tends to happen is we slow down the speed at which they can either, one, manifest in our lives, or two, produce for us in a way that is conducive to us living the abundant life that Jesus spoke about in John chapter 10, verse 10. So, you know, infinite supply comes from the intangibles within us. And what is that? Well, we think about God within and, and, and what God has given us um, in all of its entirety. And it's absolutely every single spiritual gift and asset. What do I mean by that? That means insight, understanding, knowledge, uh, true abundance, right? True abundance being meaning abundance from the in, inside out as opposed to the outside in, right? Not the, the expression of abundance, but, um, you know, kindness, gratitude, joy, happiness, peace, tranquility, God has given us all of these elements, all of these intangibles in the most infinite, expansive, enormous, immeasurable capacity possible. That's what God has given us. And here's the magic behind this as it relates to money, right? When you begin to know and to feel and to understand within yourself, okay, that the energy, the consciousness, the focus, the attention within you is what's creating everything outside of you. You free yourself from all the stresses of life. You free yourself from all the financial stresses of life. And so, you know, getting back to that example, if you're stressed around money, the reason is you're putting you're putting too much attention around money, right? What you got to do is change, sort of shift your paradigm and look within and just transform the idea of understanding, okay. And, and, and for me, guys, it was always about like, asking the right questions. Because when I ask the right questions, when I ask the most empowering questions, that's when I got the most empowering answers, right? And so when I learned this, I asked myself, you know what, if money is not the supply, then what is the supply, right? If money is not my supply, then what is my supply? What is my infinite supply? And the only answer 
is the God within yourself, the God consciousness. Now, we've spoken about this in the past on this podcast, and, and there's some episodes you can go back and listen to to understand what I mean when I say the, the presence of God, the consciousness of God is your supply. What that means is that God in its very essence can only be abundance, can only be prosperity, can only be the fullness of everything, right? That's all God can be. Any Anything else other than that means that we are out of tune and out of sync with the true being and essence of God within us. All right. So um, I love examples because examples sort of help us to understand the truth of what's happening, of what's unfolding as it relates to this. OK, so I'm going to going to shoot something at you. So when it comes to understanding what infinite supply is, here's a perfect example. Right. So the imagine an orange tree. OK, an orange tree produces oranges. OK, an orange tree produces oranges. Most people would think that the oranges are the supply. Right. Most people would think that the oranges are the supply. But. The oranges are the form, are the expression, are the result of the supply being present within the intelligence, the infinite divine intelligence within the tree. Got that? I'm going to say that again. Okay. With an orange tree or an apple tree or lemon tree, avocado tree, right? The oranges or the fruit is not the supply. The supply, okay, is the infinite intelligence, the divine intelligence within the tree that produces the oranges. Now, I'm going to shift this for you and I'm going to show you how it works with money, right? So money is not your supply, right? The infinite intelligence, call it God, call it the great mother, call it the divine being, the ultimate divine being within you, is your supply, is your infinite supply, which produces money into your life, which produces a car, which produces um, a house, which produces a vacation, which produces clothes, which produces all these amazing, wonderful material things. But the reality and the truth is all that latter stuff that I just um, named and expressed, it's not the supply. Okay. Now, at first, sometimes there's a bit of cognitive dissonance with this because it's like, well, what do you mean? We work all the time to get our 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 money for, you know, whatever it is that we need. And, and I'm going to tell you, it's it's. I heard from Wayne Dyer, who heard from David Hawkins, energy is not good or bad. Energy is fast, slow, high and low. Right. To work for money is a slower lower vibration, which means it takes longer and longer to get to you, which helps you to understand why it takes you two weeks to manifest money when it can take when it can be instant when you understand that what's within you is the supply, not the boss, not the job, not the investment. Right. It is so relevant and of great significance to know this because the first thing it's going to do is going to it's going to alleviate your stress, right? Because what happens? We we look at our lives, we look at our physical reality sometimes, and we say to ourselves, "Oh man, I don't have enough money. I need I need this." And what's the first thing we do? We start looking for jobs. We start looking for for outlets. If you're an entrepreneur, you start looking for more clients, right? Um, you know, if you're if you're a child, you may go ask your parents for more money. What if we just change that around? Right. And understood. OK, we are the creators of our own reality. If we ever reach a space in our lives where we do not have enough money 
we've got to go to the source who can give us more than enough. And that's with, with that's what that is like what is within us, which is the presence of God, the consciousness of God, the all that is, right? If we go within, if we go within and change, right, the idea and the focus of where we're looking to for our supply, guess what happens? We from there will demonstrate an endless amount of supply. You see what I'm saying? Because, sorry, we will demonstrate an endless amount of supply and expression, not just supply, because the supply is an invisible thing, right? Um, Joe Goldsmith said that the best supply, infinite supply is invisible supply. You'll never see it, but you will see the result of it. It's a lot like the wind when you think of it. Okay. But the reality is, is whenever there's any type of money issues unfolding, it's not really a money issue. It's just the fact that you're cut off and you're separated somehow from your infinite, eternal, internal abundance, which is the presence of God within you. Right. So to really even dive more into this, to make it more um, comprehensive to you, we look at God. If we if we had to say God was one thing, we could say that God is thought, right? God is thought in action, thought in expression, right? And so that tells us right off the bat that the most powerful thing in the universe is going to be a thought because everything starts with a thought, right? And then it goes from a thought to a feeling and a feeling to uh, uh, a behavior and a behavior to an action, an action to an expression, right? That's how everything unfolds itself. But when we look at God, we know that God is, is thought. And so if we understand that God is thought, right, it's important to know if God is thought, then God wouldn't necessarily be the expression of that thought. No, God is the original catalyst, the originating uh, substance, the originating um, instance that brings things into form. Now, I say that because if you're looking at life and you're thinking, like, let's say your rent is coming up, right? And you're $600 short of your rent. And in the past, you felt like, okay, got to go, got to go book this, got to go do this, got to work extra hours, right? Got to, got to take this into my own hands and take physical action in the third dimensional reality. Well, guess what's going to happen? It's going to take you a lot longer to get that money. Whereas if you said, okay, I understand through science that everything in my reality manifests on a three-day lag off of a mirror concept. Basically, I'm manifesting every three days. So whatever I see right now is something that's basically from three days ago, okay? And if I know I'm experiencing lack right now, you know what I do? I go within and I connect, I embody the abundance that is the source, that is the divine essence, that is the consciousness of God. I go within and I, I embody that and I embody it to the point where it changes the way I feel and it changes the way I think and it changes the way I react or show up in the world. And as soon as I do that, guess what happens? My subconscious mind gets it. And once the subconscious mind gets it and receives it, the subconscious mind is going to create the reality for you. So the simplistic way of looking at this it's kind of like how we talked about on the last episode, wealth is a subconscious conviction. Get the subconscious mind to be convinced, right? Use the power of thought, the power of God, the power of thought, the power of God to create, right? A creative urge within the subconscious, which is in yourself, and then freely allow it to create that reality, of more abundance, right? Of more, uh, not more abundance, but, you know, uh, a more expansive 
expression of abundance, right? Because that's what we're dealing with. We are the supply. Everything we have within is a supply. And what's without is just a greater expression of it, right? Um, Once I do that, then I can see all of my problems sort of go away. I can see all my problems sort of just cease to exist, right? And, and, and the reality of this is when we, when we know that we are the infinite supply, when we know that the God in us is the infinite supply, our, our issues cease to exist. Why? Because we know within we have all the answers, right? We know if, if, if something shows up as not enough, then it's probably something we did along the lines of thoughts and feelings within our own consciousness that's causing it, right? And so when that happens and when that unfolds itself, you know, the magic in this is it's given us an opportunity to turn things around. And once you turn things around within, there's a saying that goes, as within, so without, as in thought, so in manifestation. You're going to see the difference unfold in an amazing, amazing, amazing way. I promise you. We don't have <laughs> too much time. I can talk about this all day long, but what I want you to get is to understand that money is not the supply. You are the supply. Money is the expression of a supply. When you see someone expressing or, or that they have an, a, an, an extreme amount of wealth in the form of material assets and stuff, It means that they have tapped into the infinite supply within themselves. And for some people, it's indirectly because they couldn't tell you the first thing that they did to do that. But the reality is they've tapped into the infinite supply within themselves, albeit God, albeit the universe, albeit the subconscious mind, whatever it is you want to call it, that essence, that all that is, is what creates every single thing in our lives, every single expression in our lives, every single expression of thought in our lives. All right. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been absolutely phenomenal. As always, I'm happy to be back with you. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, us, whoever gets to it first at seanG04 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for supporting the Money Cure Don't forget about, as we talked about, those free resources, medium.com slash Sean Grant. You got upliftyourentertainment.com too as well for free resources. And if you'd like to purchase the Money Cure book, Healing Your Relationship to Money and Discovering the True Path of Abundance, it's available on Amazon in paperback as well as Kindle. And also, if you decide that you want to donate to us, to the cause, and support this podcast, please do so. PayPal, SeanG04 at gmail.com. Zell, SeanG04 at gmail.com. And also, Venmo, at Heart of Christ Ministry. Thank you in advance. We appreciate you. We love you. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining in. Much love. You're appreciated. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.